If you love quick and easy recipes, today I got you because I'll be showing you how to make coconut beef curry, which is one of those dishes that you can finish in one sitting because the beef is so tender, it's flavorful from the coconut milk and super delicious. The key ingredient in this recipe is coconut milk and curry powder. The rest of the ingredients are just going to add in some more flavor to the dish and they are also very basic. Over here, I have chopped up a kg of beef. I'll be boiling my meat until tender. And to do that, I'll need a pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you'll simply use your pot or superior. So over high flame, I'm going to add my bite-sized chopped beef. Next, I'm going to be adding in one beef stock cube which is going to add in some more flavor to the coconut curry if you don't have the beef stock cube you can add in some salt and still it will be very delicious so i'm going to cover my pressure cooker secure the lid i'm going to be boiling my meat for around three whistles then i'm going to manually release the pressure from the cooker before opening once your beef is ready, you're going to place a pan or a pot over medium low flame. I have a cast iron pan over here. Add in some cooking oil and add in your onions. This is two large onions. You're going to saute the onions until soft. That is going to take around a minute. You can add in a little bit of salt to the onions to help you cook down the onions really fast. Once your onions are soft, you're going to add in some crushed garlic and ginger. That is five cloves of garlic and a thumb sized ginger, which is grated. Stir in the pan and you're going to cook the garlic and ginger for around 30 seconds until fragrant. When the kitchen is starting to smell so awesome, the garlic and ginger is ready. So you're going to be adding in your carrots at this point. I'm starting with the carrots because they take a while to cook. So I'll cook this as the onions and garlic continue to have a nice golden brown color. That is for around a minute. Next, you're going to add in three large tomatoes, tomato paste. Toss the tomatoes together with the carrots and let the tomatoes cook for around a minute until fully reduced or cooked through. And as the tomatoes are cooking, I'm going to be adding in one heaped teaspoon of curry powder which is a combination of several spices making one delicious and flavorful spice that in also i'll be adding in some salt to fully season my coconut curry and remember i added in some beef stock cube which contains salt while boiling my meat so i've just added a little bit more salt to fully season the curry the kitchen is smelling so incredible the garlic and ginger have added so much flavor and also the curry powder and i still have some assorted bell peppers and some coconut milk if you don't have the coconut milk you can also add in some coconut cream and it's still going to work magic Once the tomatoes are cooked down, I'm going to be adding back my meat, which is very tender. So using a slotted spoon, I'm going to scoop out my meat and transfer to my pan. Stir in the meat. I have some beef stock over here. I'm going to add in my pan. 
toss everything together and let this simmer on low for around five minutes until the sauce has reduced halfway then i'm going to be adding in my coconut milk and assorted peppers if you don't have the assorted peppers that is red yellow or orange capsicum you can simply add in the green capsicum which is very flavorful after around four minutes i'm going to check on my beef and this is how it's looking like the sauce has thickened up So next I'm going to add in my assorted peppers, stir in, add in some coconut milk as well. After adding in your coconut milk, you're going to let the beef simmer on low for around four to five minutes until all the beef has soaked in all the nice tropical flavors from the coconut milk and the spices, which is curry powder. The recipe is very simple, just one spice and coconut milk and the outcome is just mouth watering. So mine has been simmering for around four minutes and because I'm going to be having mine with, with some white rice, it's perfect just the way it is. I need the sauce to be a little bit thick, not runny, and it's just perfect. So what I'm going to do, because everything is ready, I'm going to be garnishing with some coriander. Don't skip on the coriander because the flavor is so good. Stir in. Wow. This is just lovely. The coconut flavor is just 100% and the beef is cooked to perfection. So because I've garnished, I'm going to turn out or put out the flames and serve my beef over some rice and it's just going to be perfect. So I hope you'll be trying out this amazing tropical flavorful coconut beef curry.